are, are people overlooking how good Al Jermaine Sterling yeah, actually I mean, is? Yeah, I mean, Al Jermaine is one knee and one round away from being undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe two rounds from being undefeated. Like, because his, yeah. his two losses were, or yeah, he's got three losses, right? Two he of them were the split decisions. Yep. Yeah. And then the Mirage, right? That knee that he ate, you know? So, like, yeah. Other than that, like, he's been like damn near perfect and just, you know, right. great. People are certainly overlooking that. Um, and part of the reason why is MMA people are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been you know, I've been doing this for a long time, man. And <laughs> MMA people, it's a, it's kind of a good thing though sometimes because it allows okay. you to not be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they like MMA people love a little bit of dysfunction. They yeah. love to see losers come back. They love they just like they're like proud of you if you lose and be like, yeah, man, I fought on my shield. They yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah. They don't like they don't like when you make excuses. Nope. They don't like when they feel like trying to cheat to win. They just mm -hmm. it's a very like blue collar mentality where they're just like, man, just go in there with your bootstraps and give it all you got and we're going to love. Yeah. You. And that's really kind of what it is. But when Al Jermaine went down, instead of being like when he when he got the belt, instead of being like, yo, man, you know what? I'll take this belt, but I'm going to put it on the shelf and I'm going to fuck you up next time. Instead of doing yeah. that, he was like he was trying to like make make some excuses and people Look at just me. Came. I'm the champion now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people were like, <laughs> because people would have rolled with him. I think people would have rolled would have got behind say. him if he just if he went the other way and was like, "Yo, man, Peter Yan is an absolute savage. You know, he was kicking my butt. He fouled, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and take the belt. But we're gonna have to fight for this. You know, saying so let's do it again. And but I think he went the wrong route. Just I think he went the wrong route because when. The pendulum swung in that first direction where everybody was getting on his case. He swung it way back to the other side, and people were just like, "Screw you!" And then yeah. they brought it they, as opposed to just like kind of leveling off in the middle. Right. He really brought it back too far. I, I I agree with that. He he did started you know going doing all of his IG and stuff. He was carrying the belt, laughing and dancing with it. Yeah, it it, it probably wasn't a good look. And you're right, the MMA community has by far more trolls than any other community in the world. So. You, you can't go out there like that. <laughs> well, it's just such a passionate sport, right? Like, it's yeah. something oh, yeah. that, like, everybody I wants to identify with a fighter, so they get very passionate about fighters. So, like, they're – and you control people without exposing your identity, so it's, like, really easy to troll people that you're – you know, Seriously. when you're passionate about somebody. Seriously.